Oh, wow. That is crazy. Oh god, my ears. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Tuesday, another day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is wiring high voltage modules in series versus wiring them in parallel. So let's get it. By the way, all stupid experiments right here, watch them all. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to get back with a sweet, sweet video. So in the last video, in the last vlog, I wired 10 of them in series. And I came to the conclusion that there will be 10 individual arcs. The arc won't get longer. The only thing that will change is that there will be many more arcs. It's the theory. But what will actually happen if I wire them in parallel? Let's find out. So here we have 10 of them in series. That's what it looks like. Let's change it up. Let's mix it up. Oh god, let's go for a parallel wiring. What can possibly go wrong? Okay, so more clips. Let's do this. There we finally go. I was about to lose my patience. Damn. Now I'm curious. Now I'm freaking curious. 10 of them in freaking parallel. Let's go. Right there. Please be epic. Please. And it's not working. Wow. Are you actually kidding me? It is not working. I can't believe it. Why though? Why? 4.4 volts. I can't believe it. I must be doing something wrong. Left. Left. Left left. It's wired up properly, so why isn't it working? Hello? It is not doing a thing. Maybe this thing does not have enough power. That could be it, actually. So let's just remove a few. Oh, wow. Okay, so there are four in... Oh my god, that was hella loud. That is crazy. Oh, oh god, my ears. Wow. That is so freaking loud. Okay, so... I think my rectifier right here is not providing enough power to actually drive 10 of them, but freaking four. Oh, that was so loud. That is just so much louder than before. It's, it's not pleasant anymore. Okay, so apparently more voltage will result in a wider gap and more amps will make it louder. It will make it way louder. So yeah, another valid lesson right there, even though it wasn't as epic as expected, I still learned something. My first learning from the previous vlog was if you want long sparks, then you better build yourself a Tesla. Hooking them up in series is just a stupid idea, which won't work. And now my second learning that I just learned is if you hook them up, oh, actually, I probably would need way more power to make them work in series as well. But anyways, I might redo this experiment another day with more power. Anyways, the second learning was if if you hook them up in parallel, then it will just get so unbearably loud. It's not fun any longer. I want long sparks. I don't care about the freaking loudness. It is. It was so loud. Anyways, that's enough progress for today. Smash that like button. The way I would need to smash a couple of bucks to make an improved experiment happen. <laughs> to never miss stupid experiments, check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.